Okay guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Uh, this time on this episode, we are going to continue on with the story and head off to Gongaga Village, which was our clue when we were released from uh, Coral Prison. And to get there, we're just going to head south. Um, one thing I will tell you is I did switch up my party. Okay, so as I was saying, I switched up my party members. Uh, I have Eris in the party now, and I switched, swapped out Red 13 uh, for Kate Sif. I don't use Kate Sif, but I figure it's only fair to show you Kate Sif uh, in battle once or twice. So we're going to exit our buggy here and walk in here and see what's going on. Hmm. Oh, it's the Turks. And they're talking about girls. Well, I don't know. Could be talking about guys, but this was released in 97. Oh. And Rude apparently has a crush on Tifa. And Reno... Yep. Talks about Elena. and But apparently Elena likes T-Sang. And apparently there's a whole little uh, triangle going on with the uh, Turks. And of course T-Sang likes Eris. So now, the funny thing with Root is if you actually have him in a battle uh, where Tifa's in your party, he won't attack Tifa. Unfortunately, I don't like how Tifa's limit break is, so I don't really use her that much. But maybe in one of the upcoming Turk fights I will. Not this one, though. And walking up behind us is Elena. And she's gonna recognize us and run away. Yeah, we're here. We've been here the whole time. Well, there's only one female in our party, so... Yeah, whatever. So you're gonna go off and run and report on uh, our doings to T-Sang. Oh, for what, what we did in Sector 7? How about what you did? Get out of our way. Nah, I don't think so. Now, I think if you say Sector 7, uh, Reno or someone will say something about a new weapon. Or maybe they do in the battle. I don't know. But... Why don't you just go for a swim? Yep. And hopefully one more hit should just about do it. Yep, they're done. Two hits of Aqualung. Oh, you're just gonna walk away. Okay. And we're just gonna let him escape. So, learn those enemy skills, because as you can see, it can make quote-unquote boss fights much, much easier. Oh, and one of our alls leveled up. Well, that's good. And because we beat both of them, we got a fairy tale and an X-Potion. They're ch well, they're chasing Sephiroth. I'm pretty sure they were uh, they were tasked with the... Uh... Oh. That there's a Shinra spy. Hmm. Very interesting, Eris. Well, Cloud doesn't want to think about it, but... There is a spy. Um... But I'm pretty sure it was said in one of the earlier episodes the Turks are actually in charge of the hunt for Sephiroth. So if we give Eris the fairy tale, and look at that, can load up a whole bunch of armor or a whole bunch of materia, and it actually hits her, um, gives her a better attack. What it does, however, it does oh, wrong wrong menu. It does take away her. Um, Elemental. So I'm actually going to not equip it right now because I like having her having a Choco Mog Elemental. But so the fairy tale, fairy tale is there if you want it. Eventually I might equip it, or we might get something uh, better for Eris later on. So let's go check out that uh, broken down structure we saw in the uh, distance on our approach here. 
Hmm, I wonder if that's kind of... wonder if this was supposed to be a reactor like uh, the coral reactor, the Mount Coral reactor that got ruined by sh... the... Hmm? Oh, Scarlet, head of the weapons uh, division. So I wonder if this is what would have happened to the coral reactor if they hadn't destroyed the town, if it would have gotten ruined like this. Because this looks like it was much the same type of reactor. And what's Scarlet doing here? Junky materia from junky reactors. Oh, so she's looking for a certain type of materia. Well, yeah, it's not running, it's not working. And there it is, the first instance of huge materia. We will be on a hunt for huge materia later in the game. And basically we'll be going up against Shenra to see who can get more huge materia first. That's right, Hojo's pretty much, uh, he pretty much did a runner and is just living out his life now on the beach. So they've taken away a lot of the science division, just given it to the weapons. <laughs> Scarlet apparently doesn't have much use for Heidegger, just like us. And she doesn't care. It is kind of interesting that they were in a helicopter and didn't see us running about. perfect weapon. What are they up to? Well, like I said, we're going to find out that later in the game we're going to be hunting huge materia um, against uh, Shinra, and it's going to be coming from certain reactors, so. But that's later on in the game, and it's just because it's because of events that haven't taken place yet, so I will leave that for um, when it comes up in the game. And if we reach in here, we get the Titan materia. And Titan Materia will now take the place of my Earth Materia because it's a summon. And now with the Earth Materia... And just because I have the option to show this, I'm going to show you Kate Sith's uh, Limit Break. His first Limit Break is the dice, where he will roll dice, and then depending on how much damage he does with the du or what number he rolls, so it'll deal 300 damage. Yep. So, you know, it's pretty much worthless. Um, he will eventually get a second limit break called Slots. And like I said, I don't like Slots because it's rare, but it can cause an instant game over for you. So, um, should you Kate Sith limit break? Maybe I'll show you Slots later on. I'll learn it just to show you, but uh, he's never going to be a main member of my party. So like I said, uh, I'm going to sell my Earth Materia. I've got it leveled up a couple times, so it should fetch a decent price, and Titan will take care of any Earth spells I need. So, like I said, I really don't have any use for Quake. I'll sell it coming up. Um, Titan will take care of any Earth Elemental attacks I need. And uh, just a note about leveling up certain materials and all materia that's a Master Materia will sell for 1.4 million. Right now I have an all materia that has three stars filled, so it's getting close. And once I can finally sell a mastered all materia, there will be no need for pretty much money. Money will become immaterial, because we'll have money for anything we need for the rest of the game. Now we can head north into the village here. Because why would we want to continue on and go after the Turks? Let's find out what happened here. Oh. A reactor explosion three years ago took her husband. Now they're really not going to say anything more. It'd be great if my neighbor would stop making noise outside. Yep, there's the destroyed reactor. We were just there. So let's go in here and see what's going on. Let's talk to this guy. What happened here? Yeah, we, we've seen that already. Okay, maybe, do you have anything good for sale? For sale, wow, for sale? Hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Just look in over this. The white cape, 
is an interesting one. I'm debating. You know what? I have the money. Why not? I'll buy a white cape and a mystify material just to look at it. Let's see, maybe we want it. So let's go up here, which you can climb up that little fireman's pole, I guess is what it is. And talk to this guy. Well, what do you have for sale first? No, 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 nope, and nope. Hmm. Oh, nah, I, we're not going to do that. There's going to be a way around that really soon. And so what's your story? Oh, well, okay. I guess we'll keep exploring. And before I forget, I might as well equip Eris, who has my other enemy skill, with the other white cape. And we'll just take a quick look at the Mystify Materia. And you can cast Confuse or Berserk. So, you know what? I think I actually have an open spot. Let's see. Yeah, why not? I really don't care about you having... We'll weigh you down a little bit with Confuse. Just put it there. Okay. And the reason I wanted white capes on Cloud and uh, Eris is we're going to be encountering the frog-like creatures called Touch Me's in this episode. And they can cast frog on us, especially because we're going to want to learn a certain enemy skill. So what do you have to say? Anything? Yeah, okay. Someone already told us that. So we'll go in this box, pick up an X potion. And that looks like that's about it. Go up here. I think you're supposed to enter this village before you visit the uh, exploded reactor or the destroyed reactor. Gangaga Village. Most people died in the explosion. Huh, that's kind of what they told the people of uh, Coral. Okay. He doesn't have anything else to say, but we can still take the white M phone. And just to show you. Different M phones are different weapons for Kate Sith. That's a double growth materia weapon for him. And I guess the M phone is used uh, by the robotic cat to shout down orders to the Mog body. So that's why Kate Sith uses an M phone. And let's go in here. Once again, you probably won't have much to say. Well, let's hear your story first. Okay, apparently everyone's just going to say the exact same thing. Anything for sale that I want? Actually. Yeah, we'll replenish our stock of... Hypers and Tranquilizers. Why not? So, not worthless. I did pick up, uh... Some items that I needed. Okay, let's go. Okay, finally. Alright. Let's talk. Yep, I'm in Soldier, because the people with the Mako glow in the eyes were infused uh, with Mako by the Shinra, and that's how people know that we're in Soldier. Zach who? Zach Morris? I mean, come on. It's Soldier. There's probably a lot of people named Zach. Hmm. Once again, it's a big organization. There could be a lot of Zachs. Once again, first names only. <laughs> it's kind of amazing how they just automatically jump to that conclusion. Well, Eris did have a boyfriend named Zack, and we'll find out about, more about that later. Now they're just gonna repeat their lines. So, oh, let's go talk to Eris. How do you know it? Like I said, though, how do you know it's the same Zack? Oh, it's her first boyfriend. Hmm. That is strange. Yeah, he's missing, all right. Spoiler alert, he's dead.
<laughs> and I'm probably going to get an affection boost for that response, but I don't care. So, let's continue on. That's pretty much all we have to do at Gangaga Village. And there's one more materia I have to pick up. Which is right here, which will be an excellent materia for a character we haven't met yet. And I'm going to uh, run around this area now. I'm going to try to encounter... I think I can encounter enemies in this area. Yep, so there are enemies that you can encounter here. And there's a special one that I want to encounter. And I'm just going to off-screen all the battles until I actually encounter the enemy. And I will see you guys then. Okay, here is the enemy I want to face. It is Touch Me. Who's the frog uh, creature that has very little HP? Okay, so now that he, now that I've manipulated him, I'm gonna wait for his turn to come around, and use Frog Song on Cloud. Alternatively, if you can't manipulate him, he should use Frog Song as a counter attack um, to. Uh, a magic attack, so that's why all, uh, my two characters that have the enemy skill materia also have um, like a magic, like a basic magic spell. So hopefully his. Okay. Can I can I attack him again? Nope. Apparently I can't. She has 300 HP. And apparently I was only able to use them once. Well, that was fun. I don't know if that's a bug in the game, but, yeah. Let's hit him with some magic. And I probably should have used Eris. That was probably really stupid on my part. Because now he's going to... No, he's still manipulated. Okay. So, that's something I didn't know. So we'll just show you real quick. Frog Song 5 uh, MP and causes Sleepole slash Frog out of one opponent. I didn't know he could only use it, uh, you could only use him once per manipulation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to off screen the next battle, and when I'm done, Eris will have uh, Frog Song learned. Okay, so Eris has learned Frog Song, and as you saw, Frog Song will cast Frog and uh, Sleep on a uh, enemy. So it's up to you if you want to continue with the Seal or the Transform uh, materials, because Transform can cast Mini or Toad, and uh, Seal will use Sleep. So it's up to you. Uh, I'm going to keep the Transform just for a little bit, just to level it up some more. And now we're going to cross this little bridge. Don't know why I called it a bridge, it's just a shallow. And all of a sudden you can see the color change uh, going on here, that nice purplish pink sky. Huh, I wonder what that is up there. Um, so, it's up to you. Like I said, I'll still keep those materials on for a little bit longer. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to park your buggy right here. Uh, if you keep going further, it'll get broken. You'll have to pay someone to fix it. And we're going to enter this town right here. Well, oh, it's quite a town. Let's go talk to this guy, see what's going on. Oh, it's Red 13. Nanaki? Who's Bugenhagen? Hmm. What's going on, dude? No, I'm not familiar with Cosmo Canyon. What is it? Oh, so people study the planet, but it's full and you can't let us enter? Fuck you, dickbag. Oh, okay. He's gonna say that he that we helped him and he'll let us in. Oh, all of a sudden there is room. What an elitist douchebag. It should be on uh 
Real World Road Rules Challenge. Nanaki is a Nanaki. Thank you very much. That's so descriptive. Okay. Yeah, let's go talk to Red 13. Your tribe were protectors of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon in the planet. I do like the theme of Cosmo Canyon, I will say that. Your brave mother fought and died here, but your cowardly father left, and now you're the last of your race. Good use of the word wastrel, I guess. Oh, he said he was gonna... That's right, he did say he would accompany us as far as to his home. But he said he was done with us after this trip. Coming grandpa? You still have a grandfather. How are you the last of your race? Okay. And they want to rest for a bit. But before we do that, I want to go over here and see what's going on. Let's climb up here. I'll talk to this guy. What's up, dude? Is this the item shop? Nothing really wor worth selling there. Okay. Nope, I guess I can't. Yep, okay. Looking for the weapon shop. Where is the weapon shop? Maybe is it back here, maybe? Oh, this is the bar, it looks like. Now, over here, let me talk to you. Yeah, you're not gonna let me buy it, are you? Okay, what do you have to say? Oh. Yeah, a lot of people will say, Oh, you brought Nanaki back home. Thank you. And actually, before I do this, I want to, uh, if I can go up the stairs, I don't want to forget about this right over here. Turtles Paradise number five. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop in at Turtles Paradise. All right. Let me talk to this guy. No, I don't think I'll stay at the end. However, just because I'm not spending the night doesn't mean I'm not going to... I think there's an item in here, maybe. There we are, an elixir on the bed or on the cu on the uh, couch. Okay. So now that I got that, cut through the back. I think that's all we can do right now. Oh yeah. Nope. So we will go on. Find out where Eris and uh, that big fat sack of crap uh, Kate Sith went off to. So let's go up here. And let's go in here. Oh, and while I'm here, Turtle Paradise newsletter number four. Now hiring, looking for someone who can stand long hours of boredom. And for details, contact Turtle Paradise. That's interesting. Okay. And guess what? Finally a weapon shop where there's actually weapons worth buying. It's been so long, so let's see, I'll get one for Cloud. Yeah. I got one for Tifa. One for Barret. And now I just gotta sell some weapons real quick. So uh, I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay. So I sold some stuff, so let's say I bought those, so I'll get a weapon for Eris, one for Red 13, one for Yuffie, and why not one for Kate Sith. And I'll also buy two more armlets uh, to give to characters who need them, leaving me with a whopping 712 gil. Okay. So we'll continue on upstairs and we'll continue with the story uh, next episode. I'm going to stop this one here, and as always, thanks for watching.